So when mounting your vise, you don't want to just stick it anywhere with a couple of lag screws like some Philistine. You want to do it right. There's a couple things you might want to consider. Um, primarily, uh, mounting it in a position so that at least one side is close enough to an e the edge where if you have a long item that you're working on that you need to clamp, that it will clear the side of the bench. Just like we have here with this long screwdriver. Because what I've found in the past is when I had long items uh, that were, you know, four or five feet long, is if, if the vise was pushed back like this, they, uh, they ran into the table. Uh, and that was always kind of a hassle. Now, with a metal bench, a metal top, that's not such a big deal uh, because, you know, it doesn't matter that if you're close to the edge. But here with this, with the wood, you know, we have to be a little bit more careful. We want to get as much as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it back off the face a little bit because this is kind of a rare thing. It's not something that happens all the time. But if you do run into it and, and you need to do it, then we can, you can turn your vise off to the side and you can clamp something all the way to the floor. Now, once you establish that, go ahead and we'll rotate this back around. This is going to be the front side here, and we don't want to be too close to the edge there, so I think what we'll do is we'll just, we'll just back that up a little bit. Just give ourselves about oh, an inch or so, and then double check that we can indeed clear here. Because our main, this here, I'm not too concerned about these being so close to the edge because these are the ones, these bolts are going to be going down hopefully through the leg and that's going to be giving it strength. This just keeps it from lifting a little bit, that, but there'll be a ton of strength here. I didn't think to buy bolts uh, for this, but if you do want to bolt buy them, you're going to want to buy uh, four and a half inches, uh, should do it. Uh, one thing that's kind of handy, you can just, to get by in a pinch, um, there's nothing wrong with it, is to get yourself a piece of all thread, a couple different sizes, and to just have a handful of nuts. That way you can make your own bolts whatever length you want. So that's what we'll do here. I've got this half inch all thread, and we'll uh, just cut four pieces, and we'll just kind of custom make our own bolts here. So I'm going to, I'm going to, that'll stick up, let's say, three quarters, half inch or so. So I'm going to cut these at five inches, four at five.